Hey everyone, in today's techniques, tips, and tricks video, I'll be going over a new technique I created while working on my recent Trient diorama. If you haven't watched those videos yet, be sure to check them out once you finish this video. When I was researching how moss roofing was done in the real world, I learned that they often use chicken wire to attach the gathered moss to. So to mimic chicken wire, we'll be using fabric called tulle. You will want a dark tool for this, so I recommend using black. Now there are a couple ways you can do this. You can make a large generic sheet of moss to cut from and apply as necessary, or pre-cut your tool to the shapes you need. Either way will work, but we'll be showing the latter in this video. First, lay down some parchment paper on a plate or flat surface and tape it down. Taking some PVA glue, brush it on your pre-cut pieces. You can cover the whole thing if you like, but I like to leave a little tool exposed around the edges. If you do this, be sure to account for the extra fabric when cutting your shapes. Then taking a 50-50 mixture of two kinds of fine turf flocking, I'm using Woodland Scenics here, sprinkle it on the glue, getting a nice full coverage. Remove any extra fine flocking that doesn't stick and let it dry. Once it is dried, take some mostly watered down matte Mod Podge and drip it on with a pipette. You can use a brush as well to help move the Mod Podge around for full coverage. The mixture of water and Mod Podge you're going for is to the consistency of milk, like 2% milk. Next, you'll want to take a mixture of coarse turf flocking and cover the Mod Podge. This is where you make the decision how thick your moss sheeting will be. Once you have the desired amount in place, set it aside to dry. You can remove any extra flocking before the next step. Once it has finished drying, take some isopropyl alcohol and saturate the flocking. Then take your Mod Podge and water mixture and drip it all over the flocking. You can stop here and call it finished once it dries, but I like to take a little fine turf flocking in yellow and sprinkle it lightly over the moss sheets while the glue is still wet. This adds another layer of color and highlights it. Once that's applied, I give it one last quick spray of isopropyl alcohol to make sure the fine flocking embeds itself before setting it aside to dry. After it's completely dried, which can take a while, you can peel the moss sheets off the parchment paper and start applying them to your piece. You'll need to clean up the edges a bit, and I recommend tearing the edges with tweezers or your fingers. Using scissors will leave an unnatural straight edge. The goal here is to remove any exposed tool and dry bits of glue. Once you finish this step, the sheets are ready to attach and you can just glue them on. I recommend using hot glue as it dries very quickly. And lastly, you can take any chunks you might have torn off to cover any exposed tool or gaps in your moss. And that's it. You have some nice looking thick luscious moss. This is great for making in bulk and storing for future projects. It has great uses for mossy rooftops and other fun applications. Thanks for watching this video of techniques, tips, and tricks. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I make more videos like this and other cool projects. You can also follow me on Instagram to see what I'm working on. Thanks, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.